Not long ago, buying a mid-range phone, you know, the affordable ones, didn't make any sense if you were serious about gaming. It was actually pretty sad. The rule was simple. Either you paid a huge amount of money for a top-of-the-line flagship, or you just accepted your fate. You accepted playing games on medium or low settings. You accepted praying that your phone wouldn't freeze or lag when you tried to run a demanding game. But right now, everything is changing. And I don't mean a small change, I mean an aggressive, unexpected, almost unbelievable change. Because for the first time, we have a chip that is not the most expensive one in the world, but it is delivering performance that absolutely destroys everything we used to think was fast in cheaper smartphones. If you still think mobile phones can't come close to consoles, or if you think premium mid-range is just a marketing word to trick you, then you haven't seen what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is capable of. Buckle up. In this video, we are going deep. We are going to look at every detail of this architecture, the CPU that has changed the game, the Adreno 840 GPU, and the real-world gaming tests. So take a deep breath, because what you're about to see isn't just an update. It is probably the biggest leap in mobile performance we have seen in years. Why is everyone talking about this? First, let's understand why the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is grabbing so much attention. Qualcomm has basically created a new category. They built a chip that gives you top-tier power, but with the cost and efficiency of a cheaper phone. The reason they did this is simple. The Android market was getting boring. Every year, we got a monster chip, but the price got higher and higher until it was impossible for normal people to buy. Not anymore. Now, we have a processor that has premium DNA. It feels expensive, it acts expensive, but it doesn't have that scary price tag. And the coolest part? They didn't cut the important stuff. X85 5G modem for crazy fast data. True Wi-Fi 7, the newest internet standard. Bluetooth 6.0, better connection for your earbuds. Triple ISP, this helps your cameras take next level photos. So the message is clear. The Snapdragon HN5 is here to bring that rich kid phone experience to everyone. This changes everything for the next Poco, OnePlus, Vivo, and Motorola phones coming out soon. Under the hood, the CPU. Now let's get to the heart of the beast. We need to look at how this thing is built to understand why it is so fast. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is built using a three nanometer process. Quick explainer, nanometer refers to how tiny the parts of the chip are. The smaller the number, the better. Three nanometer is the same tech used in the super expensive 8 Elite. This means it uses less battery, creates less heat, but gives more power. This efficiency is the secret sauce for gaming. It's not just about being fast for five minutes, it's about staying fast for an hour. The CPU uses the new Orion core. This is Qualcomm's own design, and it's finally fighting head-to-head -head with the best in the world. The setup here is completely different from last year. Two prime cores at 3.8 gigahertz. These are the heavy lifters. Six performance cores at 3.32 gigahertz. These handle everything else. Think about that. Two prime cores running at almost four gigahertz. These are focused purely on explosive speed. They handle gaming, ray tracing, and heavy work. Then you have six other very powerful cores just to keep your phone running smooth. According to Qualcomm, this gives us a 36% boost in CPU performance compared to the old generations. But it's not just about raw numbers. These two prime cores are the answer for gamers. They handle high frame rates and heavy multitasking. They make sure that while you're gaming, your phone can still handle screen recording, streaming, or Discord running in the background without choking. It feels like the phone is predicting what you want to do next. It creates this feeling of instant fluidity. The gamer's dream, Adreno 840 GPU. Okay, this is the part you actually care about, the graphics. The GPU inside this thing is the Adreno 840. To put it simply, 
This is basically an optimized version of the graphics card found in the super expensive chips. It's insane that we are getting this in a more affordable package. Here's what you get. Ray tracing acceleration, realistic lighting in games, 8K video decoding, watching super high res video, 240 hertz display support. If your screen supports it, games will look buttery smooth. The Adreno 840 was made for modern game engines. If you play games with complex graphics, lots of shadows, particles, and big open worlds, this GPU eats them for breakfast. We're talking about games like GTA 5, Resident Evil, and Red Dead Redemption 1. Yes, I said PC games. Because of the support for things like Vulkan 1.3 and OpenCL, this chip is a monster for emulation. This means you can run games with more stability. No more stuttering when you enter a busy city in a game. No more lag when an explosion happens. And because the chip is efficient, it sustains this performance. Why sustained performance matters? Usually, phones get hot after 10 minutes and slow down. That's called throttling. The HN5 is so efficient that it can keep high FPS for much longer without dropping frames. The benchmarks. The crazy numbers. I know, numbers can be boring, but you have to hear this. In tests released by the manufacturer, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is hitting scores that used to be impossible. An Antutu score of 3,561,000. 599. Let me repeat that. Over three and a half million. That is a score that was previously only for the absolute top of the line phones. Geekbench scores are solid. FPS in modern engines is high. Temperatures stay lower under load. This is something no mid-range phone could do two years ago. PC gaming on your phone? This is where it gets mind-blowing. With those two prime cores and that Adreno 840 GPU, this chip can handle PC emulators like never before. If you're into emulation, WinLater, Mobox, etc., you know that shaders and post-processing usually kill mobile chips, but the HN5 handles them. It supports complex physics and volumetric particles. It can handle engines like Unity and Unreal, the actual PC versions without stuttering. We're getting to a point where playing classic PC games on your phone isn't just a cool experiment that runs at 15 FPS. It's becoming a real, playable experience. The visual quality is so high, it looks surreal for a mobile device. The verdict. So what is the bottom line here? The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 isn't just another chip upgrade. It's a direct answer from Qualcomm to us, the gamers. They realized there's a huge group of people who want to play seriously, but do not want to sell a kidney to buy a flagship phone. For the first time, you can get an Orion CPU with massive power, Adreno 840 graphics that rival top phones, Wi-Fi 7 and UFS 4.0 storage speeds, and flagship camera processing. And you get all of this with the efficiency that keeps your battery alive. If phone makers like Poco, Realme, or Motorola put this chip in a phone with a good cooling system and a nice screen, it is game over. You will be getting an experience that is 95% equal to a flagship, but for a much, much lower price. This completely changes the Android market. Buying a mid-range phone doesn't mean you're sacrificing performance anymore. What do you think? Is this the chip that finally makes you upgrade your old phone? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. Would you buy a mid-ranger with this power?